guys welcome to my channel if you're new here I am Shelly and if you've already been here as always thank you guys so much for supporting my channel by clicking on this video and welcome back now in today's video as you guys can tell I have a different background and that's because I'm filming out in Hawaii so this is going to be a vacation makeup look or a vacation inspired makeup look so we're gonna be using all the products that I brought with me while I'm vacation this is more so to give you guys an idea of the products that you can take with you while on vacation and you want to just achieve a very nice glowy makeup look as you guys can see my skin is nice and glowy I always shave my face or don't replay my face before I go out of town I have a video on my channel that I will link for you guys showing you guys how I do don't replay my face we're gonna go ahead and get started for concealer I'm using the benefit Boing concealer and I'm using the shade number 11 first all right, so I'm gonna prime with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and we're going to a luau, so I wanna make sure that my makeup lasts, because I don't know what time we're gonna be back, and we're gonna be sitting outside. I already did my skincare routine and applied sunscreen. Since I am gonna be sitting outside and it's only like three o'clock here, as you guys can see, I got a nice tan. I don't know if y'all can really tell. Y'all probably can't really tell, but I'm much darker. I look nice and bronzy now. Come back into shade 11. I'm gonna put that like on the side of my nose. A little bit around my mouth. And then I'm gonna go in with shade number nine and highlight. So I'll go back on top of this one. Apply some there. I'm gonna apply contour and I'm using the black opal foundation stick in the shade black walnut now that I have my tan this contour shade is I don't know it seems like it's a good shade all right so let's blend the concealer Just so you guys know, you do not have to use this much product. I personally did not mean to use this much product. I always forget that a little definitely goes a long way, so just be mindful of that. When you're on vacation and you're gonna be in the sun, you don't necessarily wanna cake on the product. I'm just a little heavy handed when it comes to applying product to my face. All right, so now we're gonna blend the contour. Now, I don't do my makeup in any specific order. If you feel more comfortable, you can always apply the foundation first and then blend the contour. And the concealer, it's solely up to you. I'm just used to doing it multiple different ways, so that's the reason why I'm doing it like this today. For the foundation, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 19. I'm going to mix it with this JLo Beauty, that Star Filter Complexion Booster, because I do have a tan and I feel like, yeah, that's definitely much lighter than me now. So I'm going to put a pump and then mix it with a few drops of this. Mix it around. Thank you. 
gonna set underneath my eyes using the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder in the shade Oat Translucent. set my brows too because I find that doing this really helps when I fill them in. bronzer and coconati set my face with the Sephora the Sephora micro smooth multitasking baked face powder and I'm just gonna go all over my face with this as well as getting rid of that harsh harshness underneath my contour and doing this is just gonna melt or blend everything together gonna apply blush and I'm gonna mix the Savage blush by NARS I'm gonna mix it with Orgasm X so, I'm put Savage on first because my dress that I'm wearing is orange like orange and pink so I feel like mixing the two will be good a little bit of Orgasm X. Well, to fill in my brows, I'm going to use this Huda Beauty Micro Shade Brow Pencil in the shade Black Brown. I'm gonna go on my lid using Caramel Concealer by NARS. And I'm not gonna do too much because I have on lash extensions, so it just doesn't make any sense. But I'm gonna use this Natasha Denona palette. It's the Sunset, the Mini Sunset palette. And I'm gonna go into this brown here and put that in my crease. Bring that up to the head of my brow. And just blend that in. I'm also going to take that on my lower lash line. I'm going to go into that with a fluffy brush and just smoke that out. 
been loving the smoked out look on the bottom of the lower lash line. I'm gonna go on my lid with this shade here. Gonna go into my inner corner with that matte shade. I'm gonna go on the outer part of my eye with this black liner by Wet n Wild. When you have lash extensions, try not to use liquid, liquid liner. Use a pencil. And I'm just gonna smudge that a little bit. For highlight, I'm gonna go back into that same shade that I just used on my lid. For my lips, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pillow Talk 3 Intense Liner. And then I'm using NARS Brief Encounter Soft Matte Tinted Lip Balm. I'm gonna go on top with the Kaja Honey Drizzle Lip Gloss. All right, I'm gonna set my face with the Benefit Professional Super Setter. And the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the final look. For fragrance, I'm gonna wear the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia Perfume. Alright you guys, so I'm finally in the car and on my way to the Luau, but I just want to close out the video and say thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Girl.